Hi everybody, welcome to the Wednesday meditation. Um, today you get me <laughs> in my car at the hockey rink waiting for Rachel to get done with hockey practice. Um, so not in, you know, the nice surroundings of my office, but you get my nice surroundings of my car today. <laughs> um, today we're going to look at Psalm 70. Um, it's a very short psalm, it's only five verses. Um, so let's open up to Psalm 70. Be pleased, O Lord, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those be put to shame and confusion who seek my life. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonor who desire to hurt me. Let those who say, Aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. Five short verses. Um, I feel like when I read this, it, it reminds me that like, in our world, we have this tendency to treat God like, um, like a bit like an elderly judge, where he's very kind, um, but we think he'll give us like the silent glare um, that like if we use the wrong fork at the dinner table, like our mothers, you know, give us the silent glare at us, you know, when we've done something wrong. Um, there's an idea in our culture, um, that we need to be formal when it comes to God and included in that is our prayer language. Um, the language that we tend to use when we talk to God is very formal, especially in our churches. Our prayers tend to be well thought out. Um, we don't talk to God like we do our friends most days. Um, our language changes. When, um, and when our language changes, our emotions and our openness and our honesty can change as well. Um, I was reading an article recently about uh, the thoughts in people's heads and how they form their thoughts and, and what goes on inside their heads. And some people, they said, have an inner monologue and think in complete sentences all the time while other people just think in fragments and incomplete sentences. Um, I hope I have you thinking about which one you are out of those two. Um, or maybe there's a third type that they haven't discovered or they didn't have in the article. But uh, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just a difference in the inner monologue inside of our heads. Um, I know that I, I think in complete sentences. I have this inner monologue running through my head all day long as I go about my day. And... Um, Sometimes it is directed to God um, as just like a continuous conversation and a prayer. Um, and those are definitely not the prayers that I, I want everybody to hear because, um, yeah, trust me, you don't want to hear those prayers that I say to God in my head sometimes. Um, but the psalm today is a prayer that's raw and emotional, much like the prayers that you maybe say to God in your head whether they're fragmented or, or full sentences. Um, but this psalm, is, is, it's only five short verses, um, but it's raw and emotional. They're fragmented, they're scattered, they're disconnected. They move from like an urgent plea to an affirmation of God's greatness, and then they return to the eager, like an earnest pleading for help, um, which definitely sounds like sometimes, you know, the, the ADHD type, you know, back and forth of the prayers in my head. Um, the help that the psalmist is looking for is a help that's rooted in God, the, in, in, in the psalmist's trust in God's character. Um, and it's this type of fragmented thought that makes up our human experiences in times of urgent need and pain. We usually have like this, this pinpointed razor focus and we're likely to express more readily the wildly diverging thoughts and emotions as they just come to us, um, kind of like the running dialogue in my head most days or the fragmented pieces that other people have in their heads. Um, and this psalm, I think, shows us that even the fragmented pieces or the utterances that don't come in a logical sequence sometimes, that they are prayers that God hears and appreciates. I mean, this one made it into the Bible. <laughs> think about how much it's appreciated. Um, these type of prayers are honest. Um, they're honest to goodness outbursts of um, where we are in the moment, 
And even these desperate cries are prayers to God. They don't have to be well thought out and formal. Um, and I think that God really appreciates the honesty of them, probably more than our well thought out prayers um, that we script out for church on Sunday mornings. Um, so I think this psalm is really showing us that we're not alone in our fragmented, unscripted prayers to God and our and our thoughts and, and kind of chaotic way sometimes that, that, that the thoughts run around in our heads and that we can direct those thoughts as prayers to God because um, God doesn't need formal polished, formal polished prayers. He just wants, God just wants communication and conversation with us that's honest and from our heart. Um, so I leave you with the closing prayer today. Um, I am not going to say it. I'm going to leave it to you to say for yourself today um, give God a prayer that is just from your heart off the top of your head just pure raw emotion um, fragmented jumping all over the place however however it is in your head just lay it out for God today um, yeah so I hope everybody has a great week and um, just keep that continuous inner dialogue going in your head and let God in on it. Hope everybody has a great week.